Hi, I'm Jack from LegalExpert.co.uk and today I'm going to be taking a look at our top five things that you should know when bringing a workplace burn claim in 2020. Now before we get started, I'd just like to stress that if you've been involved in an accident that was not your fault, which has resulted in an injury, you may be entitled to free private medical treatment from a specialist in your local area. Now, LegalExpert.co.uk is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we offer a completely free consultation. So to find out if you're eligible for free private medical treatment, contact us on our free phone helpline, which is 0800 652 7676, or by visiting our around the clock live chat service at LegalExpert.co.uk. If you find this video helpful, please do hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. If you've been involved in a workplace accident which has resulted in a burn and you believe that you're entitled to compensation, the idea of bringing a claim can sometimes seem daunting. But to make the process run as smooth as possible, we put together a list of five things which we recommend you do if you wish to bring a claim for a workplace burn. These are by no means the only steps that you should take, but we do believe that these five things should definitely help strengthen your workplace burn claim. Number one. Claim within the time limit. We cannot stress just how important it is that you begin the process of bringing a claim within a certain time frame. For the majority of accidents, this is three years. It is only in very exceptional circumstances that you may be able to bring a claim outside this window. Number two, report the accident. Now, depending on the circumstances of the accident, it's important that you report the accident to the appropriate person or people. If, for example, there was a criminal element, like the person who caused the accident fled the scene, it's vital that this is reported to the police straight away, and you get a crime reference number. If the accident happened due to the negligence of a business, you should make sure that it is logged in their accident report book. Check the report over at the time to ensure that no vital details are missing. Step three, take photographs. You should take photographs of anything that may be of relevance to your claim. This includes the accident location, what it was that caused the accident, your injuries, and anything else which may be important. Number four, witness statements. You should speak to anybody that may have witnessed the accident and ask them for their contact details should a statement need to be taken in support of your claim at a later date. Number five, medical assessment. Now we cannot stress just how important it is, not only for your health, but also for your case, that you have your injuries assessed by a medical professional as soon as possible. Not only will this mean that they'll be able to advise you on what they believe your best course of action is in terms of recovery, but there will also be documented evidence of your injuries on file, so you should keep track of when and where any medical assessments in relation to your injuries from the accident took place. Bonus tip, speak to an expert in order to help you establish what your options are. If we believe that we're able to assist you, we may offer to represent you on a no win, no fee basis. This means that there's no upfront fees and if your case was to lose, then there's not a penny to pay. You can speak to us by calling our free phone helpline on 0800 652 7676 or by visiting our around the clock live chat service at legalexpert.co.uk. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so you can speak to us whenever you'd like. So if you've been involved in a workplace accident which has resulted in a burn, and you believe that you're entitled to compensation, we'll be more than happy to hear from you. You should bear in mind that if you're successful in your claim for compensation, the cost of any private treatment should be covered, as well as any loss of income from time off work which may be claimed back for when bringing a claim for compensation. If we take your case on, we'll be happy to put you in touch with a medical specialist in order to further aid your recovery, should you require any further treatment and aim to find you one in your area so that you're not having to go out of your way. We'll go over Injured at Work, My Rights UK. I had an accident at work, what are my rights? Injured at work, do I get paid? Dismissed after accident at work? Personal injury at work, can I be sacked for having an accident at work? Return to work after workplace accident and I had an accident at work but didn't report it. Of course, the circumstances of each incident are never the same. And whether or not you believe you have a valid claim, it's always advisable that you speak to an expert on the matter. So if you'd like further assistance, we are personal injury claim specialists. We offer free 
friendly advice on no win, no fee compensation claims. So there's not a penny to pay if you lose. Get the maximum compensation that you deserve. We're rated 4.8 out of five stars and we have specialist solicitors with up to 30 years experience. It'll only take just a couple of minutes for our team who'll be happy to answer any questions you may have to help establish whether or not you have a valid claim. Call now on 0800 652 7676 or visit our live chat service at legalexpert.co.uk. Don't forget to subscribe as we'll be uploading helpful videos just like this one on a regular basis. You can also check out one of our recommended videos or head over to legalexpert.co.uk where you can read community questions on our forum, get free advice from our live chat, read articles and seek assistance for compensation on a no win no fee basis with your personal injury claim.